Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This is a Dell Inspire N13, the exact model is a 5310. That information can be found on the bottom sticker or on the box if you want to. Or you can go inside the BIOS. To go to the BIOS you power on the laptop and you tap F2 while it's showing up the logo and it's going to take you to the BIOS. So keep tapping every few seconds and it will say preparing BIOS. And inside the BIOS, you can see the version of the BIOS and the laptop model 15, 5310. Once you see this one, this one do, does come with, a, I believe, 200 gig storage, 256 gig. We're going to check that out. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can add and remove the hard drive, the solid state drive, and add a bigger storage. And what are the capacities that you can have in here? Uh, we do call the support center and they say, oh, maximum that you can go is a 500 gig. You, can, you shouldn't go over that and it doesn't work. That's a bogus number. We have upgraded to a two terabyte with no problem. You can go four terabyte, but I will not recommend it. I'll explain that in a second. So let's get first, open it up and see inside. Just remember when you replace the main storage in here, the storage, you're not going to have any operating system on the new drive. I made a video how to create your Windows 11 USB boot drive, even the Windows 11 for those laptops that they don't have a requirement for the TPM uh, or anything else. So you can create those too. But if you want to create an official Windows 10 uh, USB drive, I'll leave that link in the video description. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys how to boot through here and simply follow the insta ins installation uh, step and you'll be in the Windows with no problem within 10 minutes, and you can do Windows update, and all the drivers will be installed with no problem. All right, with all that said, so let's get into it. First thing first, a good screwdriver set. I'll recommend to use an iFix screwdriver set. From this tool set, we're gonna be using a Phillips zero and a Phillips number one. If you get a pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metal guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to remove all the screws except the corner in the back and the other corner. The corner backs, we're not going to remove them. We're going to remove the back mid, the side screws, and the front corners. So go ahead and remove these screws and leave them in one pile, as all these screws are the same size and height. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we remove the screws that we should, these two screws in the corners, they have something called a C-lock. The C-lock will prevent the screw from coming out entirely, but it serves a second purpose. It will help you to separate the bottom cover from the palm rest. So as I start rotating this, you're gonna see a gap opening right there. And once you hear like a few clicks, and then you wanna let go. Same thing on the other side, just rotate. And you see, ooh, this one nicely opened up all the way here. Now, next, what you want to do, you want to grab the opening tool, the tw uh, guitar pick, and you want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest, and you just want to twist it. I'm sticking about one or two millimeters. Don't stick the whole thing in there. One or two millimeters. And you want to hear those big click sound. That's what you want to hear. So that the clips are getting loose to the side, the back corner in here a little bit. Go to the other side by the screw right there. And once you do the side and the back, you can put your thumb on the hinge and lift it up, wiggle it around, and it will release the front end. All right, so there we have the inside. So we have the Wi-Fi board, two, uh, and we have an M.2 NVMe right over here. This is a brand, what brand let's see? This is a SK Hynix brand. It's a 256 gig, and it comes with an extension, but they give you a short, NVMe, but you can put a full size NVMe in here. I recommend you guys to grab a 980 Pro or 990 Pro up to two terabyte. I would recommend you guys. The reason is that I said don't put anything over two terabyte is anything after two terabyte, you will need a beefy heatsink. And there's no space in here to put any sort of heatsink in here. So it will be really overheating. So put up to, uh, I'll say two terabyte NVMe with no problem. Now, to remove the NVMe, you do not need to disconnect the battery at all. Just go ahead and remove one screw at the back here. These are tiny screws. Next, what you want to do, you want to lift it about one or five degree up. Don't yank it too much. 
and you want to slide it towards the right. Just wiggle it and bring it back on this side. They do have a little thermal pad on here, down here, so leave them the way it is. So we see this extension extends the NVMe all the way to this screw. But if you buy a full size NVMe, just like this one, 256 gig or any other one that you want, there will be a full size NVMe. They have one notch on them. You want to place it right in the contact in there. There's a one cut in there too. A five or 10 degree in, goes in and the screw hole should match. And once the screw hole matches, just simply grab the screw and put it right at the end of it. And there we have it. So, so that's how it is, easy it is. To remove it, grab it, five, 10 degree, pull it out. You can put up to two terabyte with no problem in this laptops. All right, so this was for a demonstration, but if you do wanna get a short one, you can remove the screw from back here a little bit and slide out the NVMe. If you get another short one, just put it in here. Tighten up the screw. Bring it down in 5, 10 degree inside the connector, all the way down, and put the screw right at the back. All right. Now let's say that you put the new NVMe in here. If you have the old NVMe, you can buy a little enclosure for NVMe enclosures, and you can stick your NVMe on an adapter, and you will have a USB-C adapter with an external storage. I'll leave that link again in the video description in case you want to buy, convert your old SSD to an external storage. If you have disconnected the battery, you put it back in, you just slide it towards the battery, and push down the corner front, then back mid, the side in the corner you don't want to, you just want to hold it and you want to screw it down. And if you see any gap opening, just pinch them down. I will power on the laptop and we're going to boot through the USB. So you guys can see how it does boot through the USB. For the installation step, you can just watch any of my Windows installation step for any laptop so you don't get any of the blood were installed in yours. So any gaps openings, just pinch them together and that should be fine. All right, now I'm gonna power on. I'm gonna plug in my USB drive in there. No, this is not a USB or oh, it is a USB. There we go. We are gonna power on and we're gonna tap on F12. Keep tapping on F12. And it should give you a list of the boot drives. Preparing one time boot menu. And down here we can see the Windows boot, UEA hard drive boot, the your SSD that you have in there. And at the bottom you can see Kingston travel data or whatever USB that you have. You wanna just go on top and click on the USB drive. And it's gonna load up the installation uh, process from the USB. So give it a few seconds, up to one minute, and it's gonna start rotating, and it's gonna give you, take you to an installation guide menu. It's super easy, but if you don't wanna get any of the uh, bloatware installed affiliated programs, just watch any of my installation guide. All right, so you can see, select your language, click next, and next, US, install or repair, I wanna install Windows. I agree that it will delete everything, and click next. All right, so, and that should cover us up today's video. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.